Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this finale for the roulette project pen. This is definitely coming back next year. This is one of my favorite projects. In this project I'm working on 10 products based on 10 prompts that I have randomized. I have an app and I have added I think about 170 prompts in there and I think I'm going to add some more because I have a few ideas. But this time, since it is the finale, we're just going to go through all of the products and see what I would have rolled out, how far I've come on other products, and so on and so forth. So if this is something that interests you, stay tuned. Let's begin. The thing that has been here for the longest is a lip product, and that was the prompt, something for your lips. And I chose this mini Sensai lip treatment. I loved this in the beginning. I don't know what I think now. I have a feeling that maybe because I have used this so consistently, maybe my lips have gotten used to it. So maybe I should really use something else for a while and then come back to it and see if it wows me as much as it did in the beginning because it just doesn't do it for me anymore. In this project I have used this 194 times so not bad, not bad at all. I think since I last updated you guys on this I have used this 36 times. So I'm very happy with that usage goal. I am not finished. I have uh, worked my way through to the bottom here. It feels like I might have this as an empty by the end of the year, but I am not certain. I have hit air bubbles several times, but it feels like it fills up with air again. So I really don't know where I'm at with this one. Uh, I know that I'm, I'm far down, but I don't know that much more than that. Uh, so I'm just going to continue to work on this until the end of the year and see if we can have it in our yearly empties. Something I have used 74 times is for the prompt something new. When I brought this in, and it was several months ago, this was totally new to me. This is a deodorant stick by We Love. Um, this is the We Love deodorant. We love the planet. You love staying fresh naturally, forever fresh. It's a long name. <laughs> um, it smells kind of citrusy. I really like the scent. Uh, I have gotten to the very end. This is all I have left. I can't bring it up anymore because it falls out. And so I think, you know, I might be able to use it a couple of more days and then this will be an empty. So I'm fairly certain you will see this as, you know, in my yearly empties video. Now, what do I think about this one? I, uh, first of all, I don't love the packaging. I thought it was pretty cool because it's all paper, but it broke very easily. It's hard to get this up because my finger isn't this long, <laughs> you know, so I can't really pull it up anymore. Uh, so it is a little bit of a hassle. I don't know that I love the packaging, even though I thought it was a nice idea. I um, like the product, I like the scent. That's, you know, a given. I love the scent. I am going back and forth between liking and kind of not liking so much a deodorant stick like this. I uh, I feel like a lot of the product is stuck that I can't use all of it. Or it would be very messy, you know, if I started using my hands and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I like, sometimes I like it. Sometimes I'm like, uh, don't want to use it. But maybe it's just what I want for the day. I don't know. But anyway, I, I'm not sure I would repurchase it. It's not that expensive. It doesn't contain any aluminium, which is like my um, my criteria for buying a deodorant. You know, it should smell good and it should not contain aluminium. So maybe I would rebuy this. I don't know. They have other scents, but I really like this one. So if I would repurchase anything from them, it would probably be that one. Let's move on to something that matches your shirt. And I had a brown and black shirt. So I chose the Mattifying Camouflage Matte Foundation from Makeup Mecca. I really love this. This is the first matte foundation I ever tried, I think. And it was so weird the first time or the first times because like I didn't need to powder my face that much <laughs> anymore. Uh, of course, I, I do still powder my face, but not to the extent I did before to matte the dewy foundations that I had used before. This is a pretty good, I would say, 
a pretty high coverage foundation. I am not finished with it. I have used it 12 additional times this month, I think. And uh, yeah, for a total of 33 times. So I have used it rather a lot. It's what I'm wearing today. And yeah, I would probably definitely rebuy this. Maybe even this next upcoming year because I will place an order with Makeup Mecca. They always have the greatest sales. Like even if they have like a drugstore price setting, I would say like their foundations might cost $13 or something. They always have great sales. Like, I mean, like every week they have some crazy sale where there's 70% off or 50% off or all foundations for $4 each or something like that. It's, it's crazy and it's really good. They have good products. Like how can they have that good products for that low of a price? I, I don't get it, but I'm really glad that they're there because they really do fill my need for foundations. I love their powder foundations. Now I love these, you know, liquid foundations as well. So I don't really think I will go over to anything else. I do have a few other foundations in my stash right now that I need to go through. But you know, after that, I think I will just stay with Makeup Makeup because it really works well for me. The next prompt was something you're indifferent about. And I chose this Everyday Bakay Coconut Lip Oil by Ciate London. I was working on this the whole last year, I think. And I came like here to down here. There's so much in here. There's like 50 mils or something. It's crazy, 10 mils. It's still a crazy amount. Um, and I was using it a lot. I kind of burned myself out on it and I, I don't know. I just don't know what I think about it. I liked it in the beginning, but now I'm just indifferent about it. It's like, I don't care if I have it or not, like whatever. And I've only used it twice more. My goal was to use this 20 times in two months, I think. And I've used it five times in two months. <laughs> I just totally forgot about it. I don't like the packaging because it is leaking, so I can't really have it upside down, uh, which means I will have to kind of press out the product whenever I do use it. So it's not the most easy product to handle right now. It has to be, you know, standing like this and you can't really stand it on this little, <laughs> this little um, end here. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle. I need to use it up though, because it has been open for a rather long time. Okay, so four products would not have been rolling out if we didn't have a finale, but thank goodness we have a finale. <laughs> okay, so the next one is something never ending. And for me guys, a lipstick is never ending. I've used up two, I think in the last two years and they have both been like one was a, a mini one like a really really small one and then the other one was almost done because I had used it for years and years and years and that was kind of my only lipstick for years um, and yeah those are the ones that I used up so lipsticks are never ending to me so I chose this lipstick from Essence in the shade this is me I wanted to use this five, no, seven times. I had used it five times as of the last update and now I have used it the additional two times to get to seven uses. So this would be rolling out. I kind of like the shade. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. I have realized these maybe last couple of months that lip products, like I can't tell if I like them by swatching them because something that might look very dark on my hands might be the perfect shade on my lips. And of course this has to be because we have different kinds of bases. Like I have very light skin, whereas my lips are pretty dark in themselves, like in comparison. So if I put this over an already dark, well, it should turn up darker then, but <laughs> it doesn't always do that. But maybe it's not such big of a difference between my lips and this shade as it is from my skin tone to this shade. So I don't think it was as like overwhelming or like too much as I thought it would be in the beginning, which was nice, but you know, it really goes to show that I, I don't really know what kind of lipsticks I like. 
I guess, by swatching them. <laughs> like even if something looks very nice in a swatch, that does not mean it will look good on my lips. And if something looks pretty bad, it might actually work very nice on my lips. Like today I'm wearing Otis Eye, and especially on camera, it looks pretty natural. Um, and it's not too much, but it, it really does look like it's too much when I swatch it. So yeah, it's just something that I've discovered recently that I wanted to share with you. So maybe try on your lipsticks on your lips before decluttering them. If you have received some and you're like, oh, I don't know. Uh, this shade is really not for me. Well, sometimes you know, you know, sometimes you know. <laughs> and maybe you guys have played around a lot more with lip products than I have through the years. But for me, that was a good realization because it makes me aware of how to actually try things out. Lip products, I can't just swatch. <laughs> okay, next one, something that surprised you. I was surprised by these lip glazes from ZZ. I, I just love the formula. I don't think that the, the coloring is too overwhelming so far. And yeah, it just feels really nice on your lips. It doesn't give too much color either. It's pretty sheer. Um, and yeah. My goal was to use it five times, I have, so this would have been rolling out without this being a finale. Then we had the prompt something easy. I chose a face mask, a sheet mask from Stay Well. This is the Aloe Vera Moisturizing and Relaxing Sheet Mask. I liked it. Did I think it was something extra? Hmm, maybe this was the one that I really liked actually. I don't know, <laughs> but I think it was one of those, you know, ah, whatever, it's nice, you know. Needless to say, I only had to use that once to finish it off, so let's move on to the next prompt, which is something small. I chose from SkinCeutical this little serum sample. This held on for quite a long time. I'm showing it here so you can actually see it because it was so dark against this tree. Uh, but yeah, it actually took a surprisingly long time to finish this off. I used this 11 times to finish it off. And I think last time I used a sample like this from them, it took even longer, I think 17 times or something. But I did realize after a while that I do like having a little bit more on my face. So I did use two full pipettes um, to, to cover my whole face. So that is how I finished that one. This smells so bad. It did last time too, so I know it's the product. It's not that it's old or anything. This is pretty new actually, but yeah, I just, mm. <sighs> with all the technology, with how good companies are at making things smell good, like why didn't they do anything to make this smell better? This smells so bad. <laughs> You do get a little bit used to it after a while, but I don't want to go around as, you know, having my face smell like that all day. It does go away somewhat, but you know, the first time I put this on, I was like, I could feel it for a long time. <laughs> but that one is an empty. Nice, nice, nice. Something half finished. This was a great, like, I think all of these prompts were so great for the last, last month since I did want to finish off as many things as possible for the end of the year. So for something half finished, I have a Snow Fairy Shower Gel from Lush. I don't love this scent. Like it's okay, but it's a little bit too sweet for my taste. It smells like bubble gum, but like very intense. <laughs> um, so this is an empty too. And I'm going to... <sighs> Like one part of me is like, oh, you should save the packaging because five of these packages can be traded in for a face mask, which I would love to have. However, I am not near any of those cities that they actually have a physical store. And I almost never am. Like not even once a year. So I, yeah, I don't know when I would actually visit a, a Lush store. I don't know. So we'll see what I, I do with that packaging. And then the last product is for the prompt, something you don't know well enough, or you know, you're know you you're not sure about, you don't know the product. Yeah. This is from ZC as well. It's a liquid eyeshadow. I usually don't use liquid eyeshadows and you know, this dries down pretty quickly, so that's good. I think it looked good when I used it, the two times I needed. Um, I only wanted to use it twice, so I did. 
Um, I think once it was kind of a mess and the other one it looked pretty good. But I think I have to use this on its own on my lids because it's, you know, it, it cannot really stick to powders in a good way. It just smudges everything out. So I think I would have to use this on its own next time. It is really, really shimmery. It's like um, a salmon-y pink shade towards gold. It has a lot of gold specks in it. So it's, it's a nice shade. I don't know if I like it still, even though I have used it twice now. Just don't know. And that was the last prompt and the last product for this season, for this year. So all in all, we would actually have been rolling out six products this month, which is not bad. I've done really, really well this month. I'm happy. I'm also very happy with the progress I've made throughout the year in this project. I just love it. I just love it. So it is coming back next year and I hope you'll stick around for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great evening.